Hello to all my Cancer viewers and subscribers. Welcome to your December 2017 Love and Romance slash Bedroom Boom reading. This reading is for December 10th to the 17th. Okay, I'd like, I like to let you guys know that I do have a discount going on for the month of December. So that's up until the 31st, a 5% discount. So if you like a reading, go to my website and use the code HOLIDAYS2017 for your discount. All right, don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe, Cancer. And if you would like to make a donation, click down in the description box below. I appreciate all donations as they do help to keep this channel functioning. All right, so let's go ahead and hop into your reading, Cancer. Cancer, December 10th to the 7th. Some of these things may already be taking place since I'm kind of late for the reading. So these things, some of these things that I'm seeing may already be manifesting currently, or they will be manifesting soon. Keep in mind that this is a general reading. Okay, so I'm seeing a couple of different situations here. Um, I do see cancer that some of you are involved in three-party relationships um, where you're having difficulties choosing between two different lovers. There's some confusion, okay? someone, And this could be you or your significant other, but someone is blinded by um, two options, two things, two choices. There's a decision that needs to be to be made, but someone is definitely avoiding making a decision. Okay, there's lots of emotions, lots of love, lots of feelings that are surrounded around this particular situation here. Um, however, I do see someone avoiding, you know, making a decision, and I do feel like this is you, Cancer. However, it could very well be your um, your partner. That's that's you know, walking away from um, you and someone else because they're having difficulties making some sort of choice or decision in love. Um, I'm, I do see that some of you guys, I'm seeing two different people here. Someone is involved with a fire sign, Aries, Leo, or a Sagittarius, a male is coming up here. It could be feminine energy as well, but I'm definitely sensing feminine, uh, masculine energy. Um, this person has options. For some reason, I do feel like this is the same person here that you may be involved with. This fire sign um, has options and choices. And it's like, um, you know, they know that they have options and they're definitely looking at their options. And I, the feeling that I have here is that they've been exploring their options, that they're ready to explore their options. Again, this could also be you. This could very well be you, Cancer. However, the feeling that I get is that this is your significant other. Um, I'm seeing that some of you guys are, um, that there, there will be an offer that comes through. Um, this could be new love. Someone's trying to offer you um, sincere love, um, romance. And um, it's like, the feeling that I get for some of you is that you're involved with someone from your past that is going to be coming back in and they're trying to mend the rela your relationship back together. You know, they're wanting some sort of reconciliation. They're wanting reconciliation. Um, for others of you, I feel like this may be someone that's coming in this, this new, it's earth energy. So Capricorn, Taurus, or Virgo, this coming in very strong here. This wanting to be in a relationship. I do feel like for some reason that um, Cancer, this is someone that you um, have a history with. And um, that you've been in like an on and off relationship with this person, but they're ready to push forward here. Okay. 
This person is ready to push forward and work on the issues within your relationship. This person is coming through wanting stability, wanting there to be a firm foundation, okay? Wanting to rebuild with you and push forward through the, through the difficult times here. Um, I do see that this person is very headstrong and is a very um, mentally grounded and that they, they have their coins in alignment. Okay, they're, 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 they either have a career or they're just financially stable here. Um, I do see, um, again, a vicious cycle with this person, this earth sign. I do see traveling for some of you guys. You may be at a distance from someone. This could be fire or earth, but some of you guys are in long distance relationships, okay? I do see towards the 17th, um, you you coming into balance, things being more aligned spiritually, mentally, as well as financially for you, Cancer. Okay. Yeah, this Earth sign is definitely offering you stability. Um, I do have a feeling that um, for some of you that this earth sign is possibly wanting you cancer to move in with them. Um, you and this person may move in together, sign a lease. Um, you may be having a house built with your significant other for some of you guys. I'm seeing um, a house built, um, but definitely some financial stability. This could be you as well, cancer, you know, maybe signing um, some sort of contract or buying a house, spending lots of time around family members and friends. Um, it could be that you're spending a lot of money, you're shopping, you're doing a lot of shopping, but I'm definitely seeing, um, you know, lots of, lots of things manifesting, positive things manifesting for you. And just, you know, you, you making a lot of money, saving a lot of money, and again, your coins being in alignment here. Prosperity and abundance coming into your hands. Okay. I do feel like you're going to be working towards, you're going to be doing a lot of working for one, but you're also going to be working on self-love. And again, just working on being mentally and spiritually balanced. Okay, I do feel like really soon, very soon, you're going to be receiving a message in regards to this cancer here. I mean, not this can't a fire sign. Okay, I feel like this person is going to make a decision. Okay, they're looking at their options here. This could be you. Someone's looking at their options. Um, they may be weighing out the pros and cons of a situation. Okay, you may be waiting for someone to make a decision in regards to something. Um, I do feel like this could possibly have, this could be, you know, someone that's trying to figure out what it is that they're going to, if they're going to come visit within the month of December. Okay. Whatever the case may be, there's something, a message or some information that's going to come in very quickly. This could be this person coming into town without you knowing, but, um, are you finding out something here about this, this fire sign, some sort of information coming in to you in regards to this person having options, exploring their options here? Okay, I do have a feeling that some of you guys may receive a message from someone outside of the relationship, or you may see something on social media that may bring forth some sort of um, insight in regards to um, what this fire sign has been up to behind the scenes here, okay? Spirit, give me some clarification for the King of Wands, the Nine of Cups here. The Queen of Pentacles, the World card and the Balance card. And the sun card.
All right, so yeah, most definitely Cancer. I'm definitely seeing some fear, some restless nights, and even some anxiety in regards to making some sort of decision about a relationship. Um, I do have a feeling that this is a three-party relationship where someone needs to make a decision between two people and they don't, they've been procrastinating, they've been waiting, they, they, they would rather walk away from the situation as a whole than to make a decision because they, they fear hurting, hurting someone here, okay? I do feel like this, um, this fire sign, this masculine energy here, this uh, Leo is the feeling that I get. That's the first thing that comes to mind is that it's a Leo, but it could very well be a Aries or a Sagittarius here. Um, this person is, I feel like they've got like a leader type personality. They really take initiative. Um, but this person is kind of, they like they got some little player tendencies. Um, I do feel like this person has player tendencies, but they're willing and ready to put their little, the, their player tendencies and ways away in order to um, push forward in the relationship. You know, um, again, like I said before, this could be you, Cancer. All right. I do feel like this person is going to want to reconcile with you or they're going to be making a decision here. For others of you, like I said before, I do feel like there is um, someone that's going to be traveling into you and in, uh, traveling to you. Someone's coming in to visit, all right? Um, this person from your past, though, this earth sign that's going to be trying to reconcile with you, that's going to be trying to make some sort of offer. It could be a love offer. It could be financial help, okay? But this person, you've had like a history with them of arguing. This person is either like really bitchy, they nag quite a bit, um, there may be, there may have been some arguing or some bad situations between the two of you guys where y'all, y'all was bumping heads and just clashing continuously, but this person is still wanting to, um, to be in a relationship with you, cancer. I do feel that this person has emotions, deep emotions for you, and they're wanting the relationship to work out. Okay. Um, and, and that's feminine energy that's coming through there with the earth sign, but again, it could be male or female, all right? I do see for some of you guys a new love offer coming in, and this could be a water sign just like yourself, Pisces, uh, Cancer, or a Scorpio. Someone that's gonna bring through, um, that's coming, coming with like a, you know, a clear mind. This person is very loving, very intelligent, so very smart, a very um, balanced mentally, spiritually, Okay, again, this could be someone that's traveling or long distance that's that's thinking about coming in to visit here. Okay, I do feel like this person works really hard. They have a really good job. Um, but I'm also seeing at the same time, Cancer, that you're moving into a place where you're just more mentally sharp. Um, emotionally, you're balanced. You're working overtime or you're working quite a bit. You're really, you know, at this time, creative. I see a lot of creative energy coming in, okay, towards the 17th or towards the end of the month. Just really being, um, you know, exploring your, your creative side. Lots of potential here. Potential and creative energy manifesting. Okay. Exploring your talents and making money from these, these talents as well. Right, Spirit, give me some clarification for the, um, the Eight of Cups. The Ten of Wands. The Five of Pentacles or the Queen of Pentacles. The World Queen. And the Balance Queen. The Eight of Cups. 
clean. Let's do it. All right, so Cancer, I feel like this, for some of you guys, I feel like this fire sign, this could be fire or water, but I'm definitely seeing fire energy. I feel like the relationship with this person is going to come to an end. For others of you, you're still going to be pushing forward with this person um, because even though it's a burdening situation and you know that this person has player tendencies, you're still going to be trying to push forward to see. It's, it's almost like you're kind of going with the flow. You're pushing forward in this relationship just to see where um, where things will go, um, what the outcome will be. Um, you're pushing forward regardless regardless of the issues with this person, but it's a burdening situation and... Um, I do feel like this particular relationship is going to come to an end at some point. Um, this person is, again, trying to offer you um, love and they're going to be sending you messages and trying to start over with you. You know, I, I see someone trying to initiate a fresh start here, but I see, you know, difficulties, difficulties with this person because this person may have some control issues and there may be, the, the feeling that I get here is like a narcissistic type personality with this fire sign, okay? But others, for others of you, like I said before, I'm seeing reconciliation and pushing forward in, in, in the relationship regardless of the fact that there, there's been issues and the relationship may be burdening, okay? With this earth sign here, again, I'm seeing reconciliation. I do feel like there's going to be a serious conversation with this earth sign. And um, after this serious conversation where you guys are really speaking your truth here, okay, I feel like this, this earth sign is really going to be kind of telling you about yourself, telling you how they feel, whether they hurt feelings or not, okay? And it's either, and, and it could be the opposite way around where you're telling the earth sign here, this feminine energy about her or his self, regardless of if it hurts feelings or not, there's definitely gonna be some truths that are revealed, but out of this, this conversation is gonna come um, reconciliation and, a new, and new beginnings here, all right? I do see that you fear that there will may there there may be um, like a vicious cycle of stress, depression, or you know issues in in these relationships here. I do feel like men. I also feel like a lot of you guys have been working so hard that you damn near can't even think, and you're wanting you're doing whatever it takes to to keep the peace, mental peace. Like you don't have time to hear any nagging, bitching, whining, or complaining for any from anybody. Okay, the holidays have kind of got you stressed out. Um, the relationships have kind of got you stressed out a bit because there have been some issues in the past with both people here that I'm seeing, and you're just wanting to just enjoy yourself. You're wanting mental peace and just just to feel balanced emotionally and mentally for once because i feel like mentally you're exhausted and um even if you have to move away from either situation here or this three-party situation you're willing to just for your peace cancer all right let's go ahead and get some spiritual advice in regards to your cards Please give my cancer some spiritual advice here.
face of cancer spirit is telling you love who you are you are a divine and wonderful person deserving all of the wonderful things that life has to offer so don't settle for less because i definitely feel like that resonates with this fire sign because i feel like you're pushing forward with someone that um isn't really just putting their best foot forward in the relationship and i think that you know that you deserve better but you're, you may just be pushing forward with this person simply because you guys have history or because this person is extremely attractive. Because I am seeing a very extremely attractive um, fire sign that kind of has that, you know, um, that masculine type personality, that take charge type of personality. Lots of sexual energy and maybe even sexual chemistry is what I'm sensing here. And... Um, so you're really just saying love who you are. Have a love for yourself before you decide to love someone else. Um, the second card that you have here is show simple acts of kindness. A simple act of kindness can energize you and bring happiness to those around you. Okay. The third card that you have here is turn on your heart light. Allow yourself in this moment to reflect on a time when you experience to love cancer. All right, let's go ahead and look at your essential, the essential aspects of your reading, what your significant other secretly desires behind closed doors. Okay, so I'm definitely seeing some makeup sex, reconciliation with the ace of sex wands, floating on cloud nine. Somebody likes to like smoke and, and have sex is the feeling that I get here. I'm seeing a redhead, blonde hair, male, okay, but definitely just reconciliation with the ace of sex wands starting all over makeup sex here. I'm with the queen of sex wands, I'm seeing masculine energy taking control of the feminine energy, okay? Got the chair jumping off here, getting some oral. So this is feminine energy, just really enjoying herself, receiving, okay? So if you feminine energy, Cancer, enjoy. That's what your significant other wants to do to you. We have the four of flesh swords. Okay, masculine energy taking control of the feminine energy here. Ooh la la. Right? So that is your reading, Cancer. I hope that you guys enjoyed. If you would like a private reading, click down in the description box below. Click on the link. And if you would like to donate, the link is down below as well. Thanks for watching. Click on the notification button so that you guys know when these videos are uploaded. Blessings and ashe.